In this video, we're going to be looking at the difference between supplementary receipts and main receipts. Are the difference? Yes, they're both receipts, but um, there are some difference and they have their merits. So let's take main receipts. Main receipts it's a paper. We all know a receipt is a paper you trail in. You couldn't do well in. You had either F or E. Okay. You can't write a paper, and we'll be showing in the next video um, how to register uh, this receipt. Okay. When you get D, you can't register. So it's either E or F, whether it's elective or UGRC. Okay. Okay. So Main receipt is a receipt that is written in the same semester in an academic year, but a different year. Same semester in one particular academic year, but you had that receipt, you had that paper trailed in the past year academic calendar. What do I mean? Let's say last year, uh, let's say 2019-2020 academic year. In the first semester, you trailed a paper and you have to write it the following year, okay? A new academic year. So that, that, that would be 2020, 2021 academic year. Okay. Now, 2021, 2020, 2021 academic year, you are going to write this paper in the first semester. Remember, last year it was in the first semester. We are in a different academic year and you are registering it in the first semester. This is regarded as main receipts. Okay. Let me talk about its merits and demerits before we move on to the next so that it will not confuse you. Now, with main receipts, sometimes it's safe if you are heading towards your final year and you don't want your courses to pile up. So I'm in level 300. I have a paper to write, okay? And that is, let's say, in level 300 first semester. I'm not going to level 400. And the moment I step in level 400, I want to clear that paper I filled in level 300 first semester. So I want to register it in level 400 first semester to clear it so that second semester will be less stressful, okay? Now, demerits. The demerit is that Main receipts are written with that particular particular year group, okay? So you are now in level 400 or now in level 200 and you have a paper to write and it's a level 100 paper, first semester. Therefore, you will be writing it with those in level 100 at that time, uh, at, at this particular time, those in level 100, you'll be writing with them in the, the freshest, the first semester paper. You will be in level 200, but you'll be writing that paper with them. And this is the demerits I'm talking about. There are timetable, the examination timetable, their schedule can clash with your main paper, meaning the papers you are writing, level 200 papers. So let's say they are writing their paper in July on July 21st. Okay, that's the schedule that came on that very date, the same time, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. or 4 30. This is the time here, that's the same time here. Okay, and they'll be clashing. So you have no choice than to let it go and focus on your main paper. So that's a disadvantage or demerit when it comes to main research. Now, let's move to the opposite, and that is supplementary or special receipt. This was introduced a few years ago to help students, especially final year students, 
to quickly clear off uh, their way to be able to register. Although they fill the particular paper, immediately they are being given the chance to clear it. What do I mean? So you are in level 400. And I'm not saying you can only do that in level 400. So yeah, you are in level 400 per semester and you fill the paper. You see, if it was to be just main receipt, you need to wait for the next batch. You need to write it. You fill this particular, and you're now going to second semester to graduate, okay? It means after graduation, you need to wait for those who will be coming to level 400 first semester to write with them. That is main, okay? Writing the paper, first semester, first semester, okay? Now, supplementary receipts, it's a paper that is written in a different semester, okay? Which could be in a different year or the same year, like I said. So you filled a paper in first semester and you are writing it in the second semester. This is supplementary research, okay? And it helps final year students a lot, okay? Because if not, like I said, you have finished your first semester, level 400. Second semester, you have filled this paper and you have to wait another year to write. You see, you will not graduate, okay? So what happens is that in the, in the second semester, whilst we are level 400, you have the chance to write this paper and that's supplementary, but how does it go? With that one, the school gives you the chance to finish all your papers, okay? all your papers, that's the main papers in that second semester. Then a week afterwards, or sometimes even two, depending on the kind of paper you're writing and the schedule, two weeks to prepare after the main papers to prepare towards that paper. It sounds relief. And that is the merit when it comes to supplementary research. That is the merit. I don't know any demerit uh, with that. The only demerit is that it makes that year very, very stressful for you, that particular semester, very stressful because you're adding more uh, staff to your staff that you have to focus on, sometimes even research, projects, long essays and all that, you see? So that's basically, that's the difference. So supplementary, they give you time. So it will not clash with your main courses, your main exams at that particular semester, whereby main receipt can clash with your main papers, okay? So in brief, we are saying that main receipts is a trail paper that is written in the same semester, but a different year, okay? So last year, first semester, and you're writing it this year, first semester, same semester, okay? Supplement, supplementary, different semester, okay? First semester, you drilled. The next semester, in the first semester, you can register it and write, okay? Or no, you filled in the first semester, you can register it in a second semester. So let's know the difference, okay? I've talked about their disadvantages and advantages, like I said. Supplementary is just that it powers up, okay? But the merit is that you will have the time to finish your main papers and then focus on it. So I hope um, you've listened with good ears and we try as much as possible, let's try as much as possible to also educate um, some of our friends on this, okay? <laughs>